Hello there folks and welcome back to food and drink reviews on my channel. I do hope you're enjoying it. Hope you're all well and welcome back to a alcoholic drink review. Now there's there's two of these upcoming, well two including this one. Um, we're sort of on the Lambrini section at the moment. Um, if you refer to the last video we reviewed a uh, bottle of original Lambrini and I was actually rather impressed on what I what I tasted. So I noticed yesterday when I brought that one that there are actually two other flavours. Uh, there is this one which we're going to look at today, which you'll see the flavour in a moment, and there's a, another one which I've also bought. I bought this one and the other one today together. Um, so going to be a back-to-back -back review. Obviously, I did the original yesterday I'll do this today and I'll do the other one tomorrow so uh, drink aware folks <laughs> don't worry don't worry I'm not trying to set a bad example here I'm just doing it purely for uh, reviewing purposes only then we'll go back to a few uh, soft drinks there's, there's quite a lot of soft drinks actually in the in the shop that uh, I've never tried before so I'm gonna buy a couple of them I think and uh, review those so let's get into it. Obviously, you can see from the bottle, it's a bottle of Lambrini. Uh, it's not original due to the colour. It is actually truly peach. Ooh, this should be nice, shouldn't it? I uh, can't quite say what that says. It says sparkly, lot sparkling, does it say? Slightly, I think it says slightly. Uh, no, I can't read that writing. Um, at the moment, obviously, because the I've reversed the camera on my Kindle, so it, it's sort of like a mirrored, a mirrored effect. So you're seeing, obviously, the word Lambrini written the right way. It's um, it's the other way for me, so I can't. I, actually make that out but obviously when this video goes up live it will be normal so <clears throat> front of the bottle not a lot on there um, not quite as a bit more decorative i'd say than the original bottle there's something down there the i can just make out the word the there but uh, we'll turn the bottle around and we'll have a look. So uh, there you go. Try and keep it in shot for you. There we go. So that's all the stuff on the back. Tells you about, um, recommends what glass size, what portion you should have at a time. Uh, zoom in. Of it does it tell what volume it is this is five percent volume so this is a little bit well quite rather a lot weaker than the uh, original Lambrini that we reviewed yesterday well that I reviewed yesterday that was 7.5 this is five percent I believe alcohol five percent volume yes 75 CL what's CL Never paid attention in that. Lambrini Truly Peach. I'm just having a quick look. Slightly sparkling fruit wine, it says on the front. The smooth one. 5% volume. So this is fruit wine. So the, the original Lambrini was sparkling perry. Um, to me it just tasted like Prosecco really, but just a lot sweeter. Um, I'm a bit worried about this because obviously wine I'm not a big fan of. Especially red wine. Oh, I hate the stuff. 
So don't expect to see me any uh, doing any reviews of red wine because uh, unless you want to see me throw up on camera, then uh, I think we'll avoid that one. But uh, yeah, I, I'm a bit funny when it comes to wine, actually. So uh, it says it's slightly fruit, uh, slightly sparkling fruit wine. But then again, sparkling wine I don't mind so much. It's still wine that I'm. Uh, funny with so I guess there's nothing much to do really but to give it a try this was $2.99 a bottle by the way from my local shop uh, prices may vary uh, depends where you get it from uh, but I noticed because these are obviously fruit flavoured and this one and the other one that I bought which I won't reveal to you yet uh, they were both 2 99 but the uh, one we reviewed yesterday, the original, was 1 89 So, slightly more expensive, this one. Um, then again, it's only like a few, few pennies more in, so uh, I don't mind. And obviously, you know, once I've reviewed it, I've reviewed it, I don't have to buy it again. So, unless I want to, of course, but um, I just thought, you know, I'll... Splash a bit of cash, get a couple of bottles, review them, and then obviously I can go back to being sensible then uh, with, with finances. Well, having said that, you know, I don't want you to think that I don't budget. I don't want to don't want to set any bad example there. I do actually budget money well, very well, especially now that I'm living in this uh, supported accommodation. Um, money management is a big thing that I'm working on and uh, I do try and budget and save up as much as possible but uh, I thought you know I had a spare few pennies um, <coughs> thought why not they're, they're only cheap so um, I just got a bottle uh, a couple of bottles and obviously it will last me the weekend what might last me into the week as well so why not eh? it's another video for you guys so I'm going to stop rambling on I'm going to just move the bottle to the side for a minute because I'm not I'm not convinced that that's going to stand up on its own I stand the kindle up do you like my new t-shirt by the way folks um, unless you're wondering that you've never really seen me in grey before you know my dad spent 100 quid on me a few weeks back before we went on holiday. Got me some lovely new t-shirts and things. I'm, I'm very happy with them. Very nice. Uh, there you are. Nathan's Club t-shirt review, ladies and gentlemen. Maybe that could be, a, maybe that could be something uh, for the future. So, thanks to my good friend who is a limo driver. Here's my lovely limo glass that he gave me. Well, it's not called a limo glass. It's, I don't know what it's called. Leave a comment in the comment section if you know what they're actually called. Is it champagne flute? Is it champagne tumbler? Uh, what, what, would you, what would you call this? Obviously, it's not a wine glass because it's taller. I think it could be a wine glass. You can have glasses, you can have wine, can't you? Um, but obviously I call them limo glasses because every time I go in a limo you see glasses like this for your, for your champagne or whatever you want to drink inside them. So, And because this came out of a limo, I, we're going to be referring to it as the limo glass. So there's me trusty limo glass there, all nice and clean. I do clean them after every review. Uh, I'm just going to... Stand back and do this. So again, with this bottle, I'll just show you close up. Let's move the glass to the side. You can see that little black tab there on the bottle. All you do is you pull that all the way around. That's it. Dump that to one side. And then just peel off. Just peel off that. And then it's like a screw top, so it's it's not a cork. You don't need to use a cork screw or anything. You can just screw up, screw the lid, and uh, away we go. So here we go. 
I'm not going to smell it. I'm just going to pour it straight in and see what it see what it smells like without spilling it. That should do just for this review. So I'm just going to pop that to the side for a moment. Obviously you can see there, the, it was up that up to there before, so one glass full, so very decent sized sharing bottle I should imagine. It, I don't think it actually says, we'll just have a quick look again on the bottle, but I'm not sure if it says how many people this goes around. I don't think it does, does it, unless it's, it might say it on the back. Just have a quick look again on the back. There you go. Can't work it out. But uh, if I'd like to venture a guess as to how many glasses you get, if they're all glasses like me limo glass. Um, I would say maybe four, you get probably maybe, I'm going to say four glasses, maybe I have to push five, but maybe four and a half glasses out of that, but um, yeah, very decent sized bottle, so I'm just going to set that down there, and I'll bring the, um, sorry about my hair, I need it cutting, terrible, I'll try and let it go long because I like to gel it and style it for when I go out and then bring it forward a bit and then it gets too long and you're like oh god so there it is uh, again the camera's not doing it justice it, I don't know what it looks like on there it's almost clear doesn't it a bit like the original uh, yesterday but um, I can feel a sneeze coming on, I just hope it doesn't happen. Again, in my I'm looking at it through my eyes, it's actually quite a, a very light pink. A salmon pink, I would say. Um, the colour is. Again, it's not very sparkly. You can see there are a few bubbles there at the bottom of the glass. Uh, there's quite a few bubbles rising, but it's not as... Uh, not like Prosecco. Not at all as fizzy or gassy as Prosecco. But then again, wine isn't. Um, well, even so, sparkling wine, you know, that can still be quite gassy. I mean, Prosecco really is just... Well, it is. It's an, it's an expensive sparkling wine. Um, you've got things like Pomaine, Asti, which are like cheaper versions of Champagne. And then you've got Carver which is um, like an expensive sort of Prosecco, very ex expensive sparkling wine. And obviously then you've got your, nut, your champagne, your actual champagne, what you brought and things like that. Um, you never know, might be able to do one one day. If I can shop around, get a discount, I might be able to do a uh, review a bottle of champagne for you. Or maybe one of you viewers out there would be generous enough to donate one for me to review. Maybe if you've got a favourite type out there, uh, maybe you'd be generous enough to donate me a bottle to try. But um, not that I'm hinting or anything. Oh, no, 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 don't do that. Anyway, let's, uh, well, let's try it. So I'm just going to have a little sniff first. Oh, yes, it does smell like peach. It smells very strong. Oh, I've got to have another smell. Oh, yes, it smells strongly of peach. Very nice flavour. Obviously, if you've never had peach before, then uh, where on earth have you been? How could you, how could you not know what peach tastes like or smells like? Um... <coughs> Again, this is not smell -a vision so I can't uh, hold the glass up to the Kindle and you might be able to smell it. 
We, you know, the world is not futuristic yet. Maybe one day. Maybe one day. So, I guess what I'm going to have to do for you <coughs> is stop jabbering on like a broken record and give it a try. So, here we go. First taste of Lambrini Truly Peach. Oh wow. Wow eh. That is very nice. Oh yes, that is absolutely gorgeous. I sound like my stepnan now. Oh it's absolutely gorgeous. Oh no. In all honesty, it really is. I don't know what. No, that genuinely is lovely. Doesn't taste like wine at all. If anything, it tastes a bit like a peach flavoured soft drink. Um, can't give you an example as to what. I'll tell you what it tastes like. Did you ever try the... Uh, for any younger viewers... Well, I hope there's no younger viewers watching this video. But uh, younger viewers might know what I'm on about. Munch Bunch Yogurts. And the orange one is usually peach flavour. And now I had these when I was growing up. And I absolutely loved them. And this exact taste... It reminds me of eating a peach flavoured yoghurt. Really does. The flavour it's it's a strong flavour, but it's not bad. It's not one of them things that you're like, oh no, I, I don't like it. It's too too powerful. It's not overpowering at all. It complements it beautifully. And obviously, because it's only lightly sparkling, again with the original Lambrini, it's very easy to drink. It's like drinking water. It is almost as if I've just like diluted a glass of water with peach flavouring. Very, very smooth. As you can see, it's, it's uh, settled down now quite a bit. Try and... Uh, I'll try and uh, give it a bit of sparkle back. Yes, it is very, very, very nice. Let me have another. Let me have another sip. Oh yeah, very good, very, very good. Purely tastes of peach. Not a slightest hint of wine at all. Wine has got a very powerful sort of um, taste to it. I can't really describe it, but wine tends to have a very powerful, strong taste to it when you drink it. And obviously when you swallow it, sometimes it can <laughs> make you cough a bit. But especially white wine. I think white wine does that to me quite a lot. I mean, I like white wine. But um, I have to drink it very slowly. So you give me a glass of glass of wine at a, in a bar or a pub or anything, something like that, and I tell you, it'll last me all night because I have to drink it ever so slowly because it's such the sharp taste that it has. It's a bit like vinegar. It's a bit like drinking some sort of flavoured vinegar wine. It's got a really powerful taste to it when you swallow so i was pretty worried actually when it said on the bottle that it's fruit flavored wine i was like oh no i'm not going to like this am i but uh, on the contrary on the contrary i absolutely love it it's brilliant like i said it reminds me of uh, eating a peach flavored yogurt
and the peach flavour just stays in your mouth for a while after you've swallowed it. So. Oh, I can't stop drinking it now. So, what else can we say about it? Well, not a lot. I mean, I love the colour. It's a lovely colour. Um, I expected it to be a little bit more orangey, though, what with it being peach. Um, well, then again, if it's fruit-flavoured wine, I suppose it's a sort of, it's well, it's sort of a rosé colour. It reminds me of rosé wine, except it's a teeny bit lighter. Um, well, it's got a very nice consistency, like I said, it's very easy to drink, it just you know, swallow it right down. Lovely taste, not too overpowering, not overly sweet either. It is sweet, uh, but it's not overly sweet, which is also which is always a good thing. Don't want it to be too sweet. Don't want it to be too dry. You don't want it to be too strong. Then again, you don't want it to be too weak either. So, yeah, very good. Very, very good. So, uh, just bring the bottle in again for the conclusion. Oh, cheers. There we go. Just want to bring the bottle in. You can see, you can, yeah, you can see the bottle there. I'll just hold the bottle up slightly just so you can see the word Lambrini. There we go. And there's my glass. Okay, that'd be a good thumbnail as well if I can get it to, uh, if I can get that image to come up as a thumbnail selection, that'd be really good. So, conclusion. Well, we can first of all we conclude this by putting it through my scoring system. So, my scoring system ranges from one to five. One being the worst thing ever. Five being the best thing ever. And I know I said this about the original Lambrini, because obviously it's the first thing I'd ever try. But I'm going to have to give this the same score. It's got to be a five out of five. You know, I'm not I'm not saying it purely because of the video. I'm not trying to make it impressive. But I generally think it deserves a five out of five because it's it's brilliant. The flavour, the consistency, the appearance, the value. It's just brilliant. So, to be honest, it's left me speechless. It really has left me speechless. I'm really enjoying this. And I hope that the other bottle I brought is going to be as good as this as well. You'll have to stay tuned for that. So uh, I will. I'll just put the bottle down now because it's uh, it's hurting my uh, hurting my hand there. I want to hold it up. So thank you for watching. If you stayed with me to the end, thank you very much. I know I can waffle on sometimes. It must get very boring. But thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. Yes, again, folks. Um, if you are the legal age to drink, please do drink responsibly. You know, they're not trying to set any sort of example, bad examples here. These, this video is purely for reviewing purposes only, which I'll also mention in the, the description when this video is uploaded. Any viewers who may be watching who are younger than 18 or 21, depending on what, whatever country that you, you're from, uh, if you are under the legal age to drink, please don't do it. Uh, and as I said, if you are if you are um, the legal age to drink or over, uh, please do drink responsibly. So don't forget, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Please feel free to leave a comment in the comment section. Subscribe if you haven't already. And until the next time. I'll bid you good day.